Now, another thing that's amazing about this, and there's a very sad story about this uh, history also at Gonstead's place, is if you look over here, you see, of course, this is one of the wings, but also down below, as I'm going to jump out and show you, he boom down here that held about 200 people that he could do seminars in. So as you start to go to build a practice, you know, what would it be like to have a room that holds 200 people, you know, as just part of your building? It's just incredible. So if you look down here, you see on the top level was a, a wing for adjusting, and then down below was a whole other level that was seminar rooms. And I've had several seminars that have been held in those rooms down there. Now, one thing I want to show you also is, and you almost can't even believe this until you see it, but if you look back over here, you see on the sign over there it says the Caracol Inn. It's a hotel. And he built a hotel. He built a hotel onto his clinic for all the people that would come from around the country to be adjusted. It's incredible. I mean, what would you have to do today to have to have a Super 8 built onto your practice for all the people that came and saw you. It is absolutely mind-blowing. And he didn't do any therapies. It was purely adjustments. Just purely adjustments. You know, two, three, four, five dollar adjustments paid for every brick that you see in the hotel and in the practice. Now, I want to tell you something here that just about, I, I almost rolled over in my grave, and I'm not even dead yet, but I'm sure Clarence Gonstead rolled over in his grave because he dedicated his whole life to helping people with natural health, to reduce medications, you know, uh, you know, to get them out of horrible, horrible crisis. And um, what you don't realize, as I showed you the hotel, is the hotel used to be a lot bigger. It used to extend a lot farther to the right, but they ripped out the whole entry and the restaurant part of this hotel, and on Gonstead's sacred ground, the biggest and uh, one of the most popular chiropractic clinics on the planet Earth, they built a Walgreens. So this is the new Walgreens they built here in place of where Gonstead's hotel main area used to be. It's just unbelievable. If that isn't a sign of what's happening in the world of healthcare today, it just makes you want to absolutely cry. As I stand here today, it just, it just hurts me to the core of my soul to think that a guy dedicated his whole life to helping people and nobody else could come and sustain it to the level he did and they ended up ripping out his hotel and putting up a Walgreens that just pumps out nothing but medication every single day. It's mind-blowing. So I almost want to cry, but I won't. Let's go and see if we can look inside real quick and, uh, and show you a couple other things on the inside of this clinic um, uh, before they might get mad at us and, and, and scold us for doing this. But let's head on in here. And uh, as you look here, you see we've got meeting rooms downstairs and beautiful brick and all this fancy work in here. And um, it's just a fascinating place. And as I go in here, uh, I don't know if they're going to get mad at me for videotaping, but I really don't care. Uh, I just want to just show you what the entryway looks like in this practice, okay? It's just absolutely incredible. This reception room, I swear it's like a hundred yards across. And um, the uh, um, front desk operates with a intercom because the room is so big. You would intercom, they would call you anymore with the intercom to go back and get adjusted. <laughs> 